Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm Foxstats or Lille and I'm glad you're here. Today's video was um, kind of a relaxing time for me. I had made this quick concept for this illustration digitally on my iPad and I just... <laughs> I just thought I wanted to do this pose for an illustration and so I took some reference pics and I um, put it into, I, into my iPad on Procreate and I just tried to figure out a way that I wanted to express this um, pose in a way that made me feel good about this illustration. Um, also, um, a huge part was the color concept for me this time. I just felt like I wanted to do something special and colorful again. Um, in the end, I think the sketch turned out a bit like Daft Punk um, and their uh, cartoon band, <laughs> which I really liked the image of, so I guess it turned out kinda in my favor, for me at least. Painting this whole illustration was fun and I think I found a new um, strategy or a new way of going about me painting with acrylic gouache. Since I've been just diving into this medium for the last few illustrations, I'm really happy with um, how I managed to go about this illustration. Um, first of all, I really just lay down all the colors uh, to give me a baseline of where I can work off of. I think working on the last image, the tiger illustration, really showed me that this way of working is really efficient and it mirrors the way I go about um, doing digital art and I'm, I'm happy with how this process is making me feel and the efficiency, <laughs> efficiency it brings me uh, because when I have all the base colors down, I just have to go into it and just do the shadows and details and I think it's a lot more fun this way because when you get all the base color out of the way, the boring part is essentially over, just filling in spaces and stuff. So I'm really happy with this approach right now. Um, probably it, it will change in the future sometime but for now i'm really happy about uh, this discovery i made uh, the paints i've been using again are by holbein and turner they really are my favorite paints right now just because of their vibrancy and how opaque they are and just the way they flow there's no hassle about them and it's just a dream to work with when the medium you're using is just working so well and so in your favor. I think I want to do some watercolor illustrations sometime soon, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, I'm deeply in love with the acrylic gouache. For any type of acrylic paint, um, I will use my wet palette which just consists of a um, lunchbox that is sealable, uh, a sponge, like a thin sponge that you can put into the box and some transparent paper on top. Um, if you wet the sponge and put the transparent paper on top, uh, the paint you put on this palette will stay somewhat wet, depends on if you close the lid, how um, wet the spon sponges and stuff, so it's a bit of figuring it out, but it works really well and especially if you want to work with the paint you've been using for more than one sitting, 
it's really nice and I think it also saves you a lot of pain because you don't get the dried up bits and you don't have to just add color and color and color because the older paint is still active and you can still use it so uh, if you want I could do a tutorial on it just let me know down in the comments or message me on Instagram um, and I would be happy to do that for you because it's really I I think I paid maybe three dollars three dollars or three euros for it so yeah I think it's a really efficient way and I, I'd be glad to share it
so when I did the shadows um, I gradually just darken it up on the skin the skin is really the only part I cared for to shade and give some dimension I really like the flat colors I can achieve with acrylic so I'm a fan of using that in my favor and not doing too much or contrasted like the skin um, is shaded but the hair is just lines and stuff so uh, the shading on the face was quite nice because it's the only part I really did shade so the contrast it gave me was really nice I also felt like I needed to add some outline or some contrast to the different parts of this illustration and I've been really loving doing the line art in the acrylic paint that I have using a, th a thinner brush and just doing some precision work it's been really meditative and I've been really enjoying it also I think it looks very organic and it fits the style I'm going for so I'm really happy I'm doing that Thank you. 
where the hair I had considered to shade it actually with some darker yellow but I thought it might turn out a bit muddy so I just went in with some fun colors that appear throughout the illustration already and just do some lines to add dimension and a little bit more detail because I really like that part of um, doing hair like just adding random strands of color it just gives it a lot more interest and it's fun to look at For the smoke, um, I had concepted that it would um, fade into different colors and I was trying my best to do that. It wasn't too easy, like if you compare it to working with uh, watercolor for example, it just flows really easily and you can do really pretty gradients but when you're working with an opaque medium it kind of gets harder so i'm <coughs> really trying my best here and especially the colors i chose they don't flow naturally into each other the neon red against the turquoise for example i, I struggled a bit but i think the way the um, smoke turned out was really cool and it gives the illustration so much more character and I like the swirlies and I'm really happy with how the smoke turned out.
And here I'm going in again with more darker lines to accentuate the face and the details, the lashes and just outlining it a little bit. And that was really satisfying to do. Um, yeah, enjoy. I even went about lining the smoke in a different color to give it dimension and make it pop out even more from the background color or the background for the smoke. Yeah, because first I thought it was really blending in like the orange and the pink and I think adding just a contrasting color to the smoke was a really good idea and it just made me even more happy with this illustration and the smoke especially. Since one of the focal points of this illustration is the hand and the hand has a lot of jewelry on it, I of course went in with another Vallejo gold, the rich gold uh, to be specific and I'm just doing all the jewelry in gold so I can outline them later and <laughs> make it look shiny and fancy. Thank you. 
And here I had realized that I needed to add even more outlines to the smoke because I wasn't satisfied with how um, it blended into the hair right at the top. So the turquoise really made it go together and the purple as well. I'm happy with how it turned out. Finally I was deciding if I wanted to add outlines and as you can see I outlined all the gold pieces because um, adding the gold really makes it lose all the details and stuff so I had to go in again and I think the Muji pen here worked quite well and I'm happy with how thin the lines got it doesn't um, disrupt it as much yeah And with the peeling of the masking tape, this illustration is done. I hope you like this one. It's a more quicker and less detailed one in my opinion. Um, at least to me it went by really fast. So I hope you liked it. Um, here you can see the palette that I've been using and the colors I chose. If you want, you can leave a comment and a like, subscribe, I would really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!